Teresa Jackson here with a basic introductory tutorial about Photoshop layer blend modes. I'm going to assume that you are brand new to Photoshop or brand new to the concept of blend modes. Maybe you've heard about them or even played around with them, but you don't really know why you should use them. If you are looking for a deep dive into blend modes, I highly recommend the book The Hidden Power of Blend Modes by Scott Valentine. Blend modes is the blending of data between multiple layers. So in order to have layer blend modes, we have to have more than one layer. I have a document here with a single layer that I just filled with a sky blue color. I'm going to add a new layer to this by clicking the page icon here at the bottom of the layer panel. And that just adds a new blank empty layer with no contents. If I turn the visibility off on the blue layer, layer one, we'll just see the checkered gray and white checkered pattern which represents nothing or transparency. A new layer is by default added with the normal blend mode. We see the normal here. I'm just going to paint on this layer. I'll start by picking a bright yellow color and just paint the letters for yellow. And then I'll also paint a pink color. And as I paint these letters, you'll see that they are in the color I've chosen, yellow and pink. There is no blending happening between the layer two and the layer one. Let's change this blend mode to multiply, which is a very commonly used blend mode and the easiest one to understand. The multiply blend mode took the yellow from layer two and it added it to the blue from layer one giving us kind of a greenish color and it took the pink color from layer two and it added it to the blue color from layer one giving us kind of a purplish color. Let's take a look at the blend mode called overlay next because it's just as popular as the multiply one but maybe a little bit more challenging to understand. Before I switch to overlay I'm going to set this back to normal and I'm going to pick a black color and uh, paint the letters for black. So black. So now let's switch this blend mode to overlay and see what happens. Essentially the overlay blend mode adds contrast to the layer below. Now if it has color in the layer that you set to overlay it will add contrast and it will tint. So we'll see that the yellow has gotten lighter, but it also has a yellow tint in it. And the pink is about the same value, but it has the pink tint. And the black color has simply darkened the blue from below. I'm going to change the contents of these two layers to give a little deeper explanation of how the overlay mode works. I'm going to pick layer one and fill it with a darker blue color. And I'll do that by selecting the color which fills my foreground chip, selecting the layer, and then doing an option delete which fills with foreground color. That would be an alt delete if you were on a PC. And then I'm going to go to layer two. We'll see how these colors um, affected this in the overlay mode with a different color underneath. But I'm going to fill layer two. I'm going to go edit, fill, and then I'm going to fill it with 50% gray. And when I fill layer two with 50% gray, we can see the original color of layer one. Essentially, nothing is happening here. When you have your blend mode set to overlay, a value of 50% gray has no impact when it blends with the pixels or the colors that are below it. Now if I paint on this gray layer with a black color, it's going to darken the blue. And if I paint with a white color, I'll switch my color chips around here and paint with white, it's going to lighten the blue. Let's try a gradient and see how that works. I'm going to fill this with a gradient from black to white, black in this corner to white in this corner and you'll see that the blue is darker in the upper left and it's lighter in the lower right and in the center it hasn't changed. If I turn this on and off you can kind of tell that right down the center we're seeing the blue color from layer one. I'm going to click and hold on the 
overlay blend mode here so we can see all the other blend modes and how they're grouped. This section in here is going to darken the effect. This section in here will lighten the effect and this section in here will create some type of a contrast. This section is doing an evaluation of the differences between the layers and it kind of reverses and subtracts. And this is combining based on hue, saturation, color, or luminosity. Now let's take a look at a couple ideas of how you could use these blend modes in a photo composite. To have layer blend modes, you have to have two layers or two images in a document. And there's a shortcut way to get there from Bridge. If you select two images together with the Shift key and go to Tools, Photoshop, Load Files into Photoshop Layers, that will open both of those images and put them together in the same document. I'm going to take the lake layer and drag it beneath the Bridge layer here and then I'll go to my move tool and move this down to the bottom. Now if we evaluate this image of the bridge, it has a very high contrast. Essentially it's just white up here in the foggy sky. So if I change the blend mode from normal to multiply, that's just going to disappear into the water because white multiplied to anything below it isn't going to add anything. But the black or darker areas of the bridge image create this kind of ghosted look of the bridge going down into the water. If you already have an image open in Photoshop, you can add another image to it by doing a place. Go File, Place Embedded, go find the image. I'm going to place this grunge texture. I'll choose it. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out to fill the whole width because it's just a grunge texture. And then I'll click the big check up here. So we can't see the reflected mountain on the lake below because the blend mode is placed at normal. But if I change this to overlay, we get a really nice grunge effect on the image. I can toggle through all of these blend modes with a keyboard shortcut, which is Shift and Plus. So notice this says Overlay. I'm going to go Shift Plus and it'll switch to the next one, which is Soft Light. Soft Light is a lot like Overlay, but just less intense. And Hard Light is kind of like Overlay, only way intense. So that just made it too dirty. So we'll just toggle through all of these and you can see some really cool different effects that are happening and how different they all are depending on the blend mode. Make sure that when you're using that keyboard shortcut that you're not on the brush tool. I'm going to switch to the brush tool and you'll see that brushes have blend modes as well. If we click up here where it says normal, we see blend modes. If I start to do a shift plus now, it's going to toggle through the blend modes of the brush and not the layer. With a handful of photos, a variety of layer blend modes, and some very simple layer masks, you too can create a unique and compelling composite image with Photoshop.